G'day Phil and the rest of YouTube. Um, you've asked me basically how do you tell the difference between a Gen 1 and a Gen 2 battery. I'll do my best to give you the answers as far as my knowledge goes but I am not a technical authority. So luckily in my workshop I have got a Gen 2 battery lying around under a heap of crap and a Gen 1 battery out and actually empty. That's an exciting project which you'll find out about soon enough. So, where are the connectors? There we go. To make this thing look more like it should be a battery, if I poke that guy in there, where's my AVE jokes about getting the tutor in the thingamajig? So, that's what your Gen 1 looks like. You have got your orange connector that you shouldn't lick and your data connector. Now the data connector on a Gen 1 has got just one little tab in it. I don't know if this light is showing well enough. One tab down to the left. Um, there's that. Then you have got the case, which if you see it's got a continual tongue out the side here, flange I should say, <laughs> flange, um, and pretty square shape to the back. The Gen 2, let's go with the flanges first because they're exciting, no longer has continuous, so one, two, three. You can also notice there's far fewer bolts on this, the Gen 2, it's um, sealed, it's got some kind of sealant around the edge and very few bolts whereas the Gen 1 has got many 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 bolts both 10 and I think 13 mil and usually for Japanese and then a rubber seal so you can open and close these fairly easily whereas the Gen 2 you need to cut the sealant and reseal it every time um, again, let's start show you the connectors again. One circular with the tab here, one oval power connector, and then the main disconnect, which is this guy. So, connectors. On a Gen 2, you have got same power connector. You've also got an outlet for the heating system. Um, and your connector here, Whoa, sorry, let me try and get a bit more light on here, yeah it's not obvious but you've got a tab here and a tab here, so two connectors at the top rather than one at the bottom, yeah if you look at the other side of it you can clearly see two tabs and they're at the top, so there is very different, um, also so disconnect from gem 1, Disconnect from Gen 2, very different. Gen 2, much smaller, blade style, very different. And then the shape here, it's got sort of more of a slope and angle in the back of it. Um, however, I've just spent nearly four minutes telling you the differences between the cases. If I was Nissan and I was doing some replacements, I'd probably go with a Gen 1 case because it fits more easily. Um, the main thing, I mean, I th I'm pretty certain that mechanically they, the bolt holes are in the same place, so you could put a Gen 2 into a Gen 1. I'm pretty certain of that. Oh, well, maybe not. There's two screw holes there. And in the back of the Gen 1 there are... Just the one, yeah. So in the Gen 1, there's just one big bolt holding it into the back. One either side of the center line. Whereas on the Gen 2, we have got two big bolts, no, not bolts, captive nuts. Um, yeah, one, two. 
and I've never actually taken a Gen 2 battery out of car, so I don't know whether they're both used. However, that doesn't change my point, or it even strengthens my point. I would say that what case you get doesn't tell you what battery, what cells you're getting, um, because they might have to put the the old case into or they might have to put the better batch cells into the old case to make it fit the older car. If you want to go deep, you are going to have to look at the bat cells themselves. And I'm sorry, spoiler alert, I'm still not going to be able to give you a proper answer. So, in here, my little house battery here, running away with good old Australian um, uh, battery management system from Batrium. We have got mostly Gen 1 cells, which are point at it. The complete sardine cans, metal all round, almost fully enclosed. However, here I've got a stack of Gen 2s as well because I've run out of Gen 1s. And you can see you've got metal top and bottom of the battery, of the cell, sorry, um, and plastic inserts. So that is the real key difference about whether it's Gen 2 or Gen 1 cells. Um, obviously you're going to have to get into your battery to be able to confirm that. Um, and even then I am not 100% sure of whether they have Gen 2 cells without the upgraded chemistry for the high temperature environments. Um, a bit of Googleization should tell you that. Um, my nissanleaf.com is also a great place to go looking. So yeah, there's part numbers. This is these are Gen 1 cells here, or modules I should say, piled up, complete. Whereas the Gen 2s, you can see much more the inside, and you can see there's just metal on top, metal below. Uh, but yeah, I don't know the part numbers for the cells, but if you're getting that deep into it, you'll you want to have done a lot more research because you'll have already taken a battery out and cut the sealant and gone all, all the way in. Um, something else that could be useful to you guys in hot areas, especially now that I think you're allowed to import cars into Australia, you never used to be able to, but now that you can import cars as long as they haven't been, was it you don't, ah, blah, blah, blah. The ENV 200 is the only Nissan electric, as far as I'm aware at the moment, that has battery cooling. It has pretty basic battery cooling in that it has a connection into the air conditioning, so it's got a little heat exchanger in the battery case, and it has a little fan that blows that air around within the case, so it's very rough compared to pumped coolants, you know, ones that have got coolant lines throughout, but that could be useful to you. Thing is, the battery, although it's the same number of cells, same modules, it is a, all a very different layout. The battery is narrower and taller, the battery case, so it only fits the ENV 200. You can't get one of those batteries and stick it into a leaf. But you can get an ENV 200. Anyway, I hope I've helped. As per usual, I'm unable to give definite answers but hopefully helped you find or improve your knowledge slightly. Search on minusandleaf.com, they should be able to tell you these things. You should be able to, if you dig hard enough, find the part numbers for the different types of cells and maybe put them in the comments on this video so that other people can learn. Um, and yeah, I hope this is helpful. So catch you later, happy new year. And don't, don't let Tesla upset you too much. Yeah, they've been dicks, but they're still better than any other car company as far as I can tell. So, yeah, don't cancel that order just yet. All right, catch you later.